What I'd like to talk to, to you about right now is how to load with your hips and unload. Okay, there's a loading stage and an unloading stage. That's what I like to call it. You can call it different things, but loading with my hips, this is what I interpret it to be. Uh, as I told you about leading with your hips. That's really the load. You're going to load with this front hip and unload with this back hip. Remember how I told you you throw with your legs and your hips? Throwing with your legs really means, one, leading with your hip, but throwing that leg out, getting, getting the power from all the way from your feet to your fingertips, but getting that momentum is part of throwing with your legs. And another part is this loading phase. You're loading here. You're taking your stride. You're unloading a little bit at foot strike, unloading here, and you're going to finish unloading with that back hip. As you can see here, if I load, unload a little bit, my hips go before my upper body does. That's called delayed shoulder rotation. My hips will go. I'm unloading a little bit at foot strike. Okay? And then I've got to finish unloading. Those pitchers that unload all the way, that bring their hips all the way around right here, to release of the baseball, are going to find more success in velocity. They're going to throw a lot more because they're using their legs and their entire hip and trunk to throw. So once again, you're loading up with the hip, unloading a little bit as you throw that leg out there, and then you're going to finish unloading. That's what throwing with your legs means. Now when you're playing catch, I always tell my pitchers to throw with a purpose, with the intent to get better every single time. So what you've learned here so far, staying relaxed, leading with your hips, throwing that front leg out, uh, you're going to rotate your hips all the way around. Those are the things that you can practice every time you play catch. You're throwing with a purpose, with a purpose, throw with a purpose. So you can work on this with your friends. Load, unload, and finish unloading as you come, come around and throw. Uh, make sure your hips come all the way around right here to maximize that velocity. Now you'll see some, some pitchers, they'll actually come down here, release the ball, and then their hips finally come around. They're not utilizing it properly. That's one of the reasons why you don't want to lean down when you throw like this and then have your hips come around. You want your working from, you want to work from the foundation up. So if I'm here and I'm rotating my hip here, okay, and I finish, you can really, you can almost see that energy come up. In fact, if you want to stand up and try it yourself, keep your head over your belly button, over your center, Get into the equal and opposite position right here. Rotate your hips before your upper body. You don't, want to, you don't want to rotate your upper body first. Rotate your hip before your upper body. That way that energy is going to travel through your core. We're going to talk about that very briefly. And then you're going to rotate your hip. When I rotate my back hip, to help me rotate that, I use my back foot. I just make sure that I go, I go quick to my tiptoe and I drag that tiptoe forward, keeping my foot on the ground until I release the ball. We'll get into that here in a minute, but again, you're going to load, unload a little bit, and finish unloading with the hips. It's all in that lower half that's going to help you throw a lot faster. So that, continue working on that. 